Yes. Sir, I stand here to support substantially now, what is this? the Mines and Mineral Development Regulation Amendment Bill 2016. Sir, One name, no. No. my state is concerned with my state is concerned with this mining activities no, no, no. and has suffered also this because of various actions of the government. But before that, I would like to ask, our government has prepared a bill consisting of, consisting of 139 clauses and three long schedules. An exhaustive bill was prepared. No, no. Can I start, sir? Can I start, sir? Bolo, kya bo why you are not speaking? No, because you are... You are no, no, I am listening. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Sir, an okay. exhaustive bill consisting of 139 clauses was prepared by the previous government with three schedules, long schedule, an exhaustive bill on this subject. But ultimately, when the bill was referred to standing committee, it was this bill of one page consisting of one or two clauses were referred to the standing com select committee. And ultimately, we were asked to finish it. And my good friend, Mr. Bupendra Yadav, pressed very much that you somehow finish this report. And one of the suggestions which I had made in that committee was not accepted. And ultimately, this has come now. If you had accepted that, it would have been a pleasure. I would have been happy. But you did not accept. Your secretary, you listened to your secretary and did not accept my suggestion. Today it has come in the bill. I am happy about that. So the question is, on the mining, we have got some long story of, out of which short story I will tell you. We are the sufferers of because of this mining issue. For one full year before BJP came to power in Goa, the then Chief Minister Sri Manohar Pirrekar criticized Congress party left and right saying that because of these politicians, the Congress people, that mining is suffering and they are indulging in illegal mining. He made an open charge. Subsequently, when BJP won the election, he first made a statement, neither any member of the present assembly nor of the past assembly is involved in illegal mining. This is just contrary statement made by Mr. Parrikar when he became the chief minister. Secondly, I would like to tell you who stopped mining in Goa. You have, people were shouting in the name of central government. He made it, to, made it to picture that it is the central government who stopped mining in Goa. But I will tell you who stopped the mining in Goa. On 10 September 2012, it is Mr. Manohar Parrikar's government which issued a notification without quoting any law, any rule or regulation, stopped the mining in Goa on 10 September 2012. Stopped with effect from 11 September 2012. And thereafter, obviously, the environment ministry interfered, because saying who is the state government? And environment ministry issued another notification. Subsequently, it was taken by the Supreme Court that neither you nor the, nor the Environment Ministry, but it is the Supreme Court which will decide. The Supreme Court took up the matter and continued to stop mining in Goa. After that, for years together, three, I don't remember now, three years people of Goa suffered I am concerned with the workers. I am concerned with the owners of the truck, the persons who were employed on the trucks, barges, the small traders who were affected. But nobody came to the rescue of these people. Mine owners, they can carry on. They may suffer a few losses. But it is these small people who were caused loss by the BJP government at the instance of Sri Manohar Padrika, the then Chief Minister, 
and present uh, defense minister. <coughs> Secondly, I had suggested during that that during select committee meeting, which I have already referred, okay. that so certain concessions be given because the mining area and which yeah. you have now defined yeah, in the yeah, bill, yeah, I had suggested at that time. But yeah, as it is, leased area means means the area specified in the mining lease within which mining operation can be undertaken and includes non-mineralized area required and approved for activities falling under the definition of mine as referred to in clause. The same thing could have been added at that time. Now, for these two small clauses, you have introduced the bill. What about that bill which contains 139 clauses introduced by previous government? What I'm asking is, is it because the previous government had issued it that you have shied away from the bill? I would like to know ask. Then comes the question of Shah Commission. The Shah Commission was appointed to look into the mining, illegal mining in uh, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, etc. Nowhere in that notification, name of Goa as a state was not mentioned. I don't say that it was not mentioned, so commission could not come to Goa. They were entitled to come as per the broad guidelines of the notification. But what Shah Commission did, they came to Goa first, a state which was not mentioned in the notification, and heard people not exhaustively, selectively, and not all the stakeholders, and gave the report as per the whims and fancies of the Commission. Another aspect I would like to mention is, who is in charge of mining as such? Is it the Department of Mines? Is it the Ministry of Environment? Is it the Bureau of Mines? Is this a State Pollution Control Board? Is it the Village Panchayat which gives permission for digging, etc.? Five, six authorities I am mentioning. Let it be known which is the authority in charge of mining activities. And it will appear that now, even after these bills are passed, there will be confusion regarding the authorities concerned. Why is it not displayed? Number Why two, not displayed? number two, various confusion arises as far as transfer of mining lease is concerned. As far as transfer of mining lease is concerned, there is no transparency. There is no control of the government as a law stands today. If one lease holder wants to transfer it to in the name of another person, the required law does not bar him from doing so. Minimum legal formalities can be done, and thereafter, the fate of workers it will be in jeopardy. It has happened in Goa also past, and therefore, the provisions of the bill which we had introduced was very much required in order to stop illegal transfer of minings or mines from one person to another. Then it comes, what are the rights of leaseholders? Sir, once you have a lease, the, under the relevant 57 Act, <coughs> you are supposed to perform certain things. Whether there is any authority, okay. Department of Mines, Bureau of Mines, Environment Ministry, who is monitoring the rights of leases and the activities of leaseholders. Because if monitoring was there, we would not have been at that stage where we have been today. Secondly, 
Sir, the mining plan is very important. All, there must be an approved mining plan for the state so that mining activity can be done according to the plan. A plan should be approved and the plan should be prepared by the expert having knowledge of mining. And therefore, if the mining plan is not prepared according to the advice of the expert, then mining plan will go to jeopardy. Secondly, if mining plan is to be prepared, then which are the authorities who can prepare that mining plan and in what manner? Is there any guidelines prescribed in 1957 Act? There can be. There are certain things. But why you neglected to implement, again I am saying, 2011 bill made it into law so that, so that mining plan can be effectively implemented and uh, exhausted. Today, closure of mine, I am not speaking of Goa in this sense. Closure of mines takes place at the whims and faces of leaseholders. In our bill, there were stringent conditions provided for closing of mines because there the fate of workers is involved. Just like fate of workers is involved in case of transfer, in case of closure also, the fate of workers is involved. And therefore, an exhaustive procedure has to be provided for the purpose of closing of mine, which was there in, in the bill which the previous government had prepared. <clears throat> I would like to know in this, at this stage and firm assurance by the minister that the previous bill will be brought in this house at the earliest with those exhaustive clauses. There are three schedules, sir. I, I mentioned 139 clauses and three schedules. Such an exhaustive bill. If they had some reservation, they could have amended instead of bringing this small bill. Now, in that bill also, there was a provision for reserving areas for mining. If the government wants to reserve some areas for mining, for whatever it is, there was a provision to mark certain areas. And this can be possible only when plan is prepared, mining plan is prepared, so that these particular areas marked therein can be reserved for mining. <clears throat> then there are two important things, is National Mineral Fund and State Mineral Fund. I don't know whether by any executive order you are planning to do it, but these are two important funds which are required to be instituted, operationalized, for the benefit of those concerned. Because it is through this fund that you can service the employees who are working in the mines. You can look after the interest of the children of the workers. Because these two funds will have a lot of scope to see the welfare of mining people. And lastly, sir, I would like to mention I would like to mention that in case of mining, what is the present status of mining in Goa? A litigation was pending in Supreme Court for years together. <coughs> the government, state government was helpless. Mine owners were helpless. Workers were helpless. Barge owners were helpless. Everybody was crying. And they had no resources to maintain themselves, to send their schools, children to schools. The small traders who were depending upon mining also suffered. At, it is, it is, I'm sorry to say, that Supreme Court of India did not have any emotional feelings with regarding those workers who are suffering. They were thinking perhaps that they are only punishing the mine owners. Mine owners do not get punished. It is these about three lakhs people who suffered. They are still suffering. We, will the Environment Ministry, 
will the mining department and bureau of mines will give them necessary compensation who will look after the loans taken by the truck owners the barge owners and other small traders you have to make a statement <coughs> if in reality you have to give justice to the mining workers thank you very much thank you mr sandaram nayak sri